Hey my GDs, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 26 and I'm working on my financial freedom journey. So, um, thank you guys for all the new subscribers. I appreciate the love. You guys see me, I'm out, I'm out here trying to create content, trying to create some reels, some shorts and stuff like that. So I appreciate you guys so much. So in this video, I'm gonna go over um, my October expenses, what I've spent my money on. I got some updates about my life with y'all. I know it's been like five days since I posted last, so I wanna fill you guys in. I do wanna do a little shout out for Prosperously Pink. She is a fellow budgeting YouTuber. She sells these on her um, Etsy shop. The girl is dope, she's fire. Like, why not, you know what I'm saying? So you, I'm gonna have her link below. You guys make sure you check that out. Um, also, you guys, I have some new releases on my Etsy shop. So I got some stickers. I'm actually selling all the three of these separately. I'm trying to, you know, trying to get in my bag. I'm trying to, trying to do more so I can make more so I can put more towards my debt. That's that was a lot of more, but you feel me. So I got some positive quote stickers, some fall, Halloween, you know, autumn stickers, and then I have budget planner stickers that I actually sell with my budget planners on my shopify but i'm selling just the sticker page on the etsy so you guys make sure you check that out all the links are below also last announcement i pinky promise um my budget planners they're on sale yes i said it they are five dollars off maybe yeah i think they're about five dollars off right now on my shopify so you guys after you watch this video <laughs> make sure you guys go check that out but if you're interested in my transactions um life update make sure you stay tuned okay budgeties so you guys know i was actually for this month of october using my october printables which are available on my etsy i'll go ahead and show you this is what they're looking like um and i'm still using these but I'm gonna do my transactions in my actual budget planner just for the sake of not losing my mind. So again, my budget planners are on sale right now um, to the end of today, actually, which is not a lot of notice, but just letting you know. Um, So we can get into this, but while I get started, I'm gonna give you guys some updates on life. And you're probably gonna need me to explain these updates on life just due to the fact that um you're gonna be like girl why you spend your money on this okay so first things first i'm an adult right kind of sort i'm adulting and my grown behind stepped in an ant pile last week so my hand isn't bad but my my legs well not my legs my my ankles aka my cankles are pretty rough so i really had a bad reaction i'm talking about my ankles swole up whatever, whatever, and that led to some financial purchases because you have to get allergy medication or whatever and a whole bunch of drugs, the good stuff, the legal stuff, you guys. <laughs> I know what y'all thinking. Um, so you're gonna see that. Um, and then um, the other thing I can talk you guys through while I'm going through it. So first I wanted to say, how y'all October going? Because it's, it's the, the third... It's the three checks that I get this month, but these, I'm trying to tell y'all, these, these expenses is expensing. Can I say that? I'm going to say it. Y'all know I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. So first things first, on the 2nd of October, right after I got paid, I went ahead and spent $4.97 out of my Mo fund and I went to Zaxby's. Y'all know I don't eat chicken or nothing, but, um, I like my french fries from Zaxby's. I like the little crinkly with the season salt. <laughs> Give it to me. And then I like my uh, sweet tea, if they make it sweet. Because I do like it diabetic. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I guess I'm going backwards. So October 1st, I went grocery shopping. Kind of, sort of. Just got a little snacky snacks. I went to Walmart, putting it under food. And I only spent um, $7.00. Yeah, and 22 cents. Boom. Okay, and then the next thing is, following up on that, my dates are all over the place, you guys. I went to Publix, bought some more food, <laughs> and I spent...
spent nine dollars and fifty two cents. Y'all know in Publix do they buy one get one free? You got to buy the one and get. Well, I'm sometimes I buy one get one free. Sometimes I get the one for half off. So I'll like show up and then like the buy one get one free ends on like a Tuesday or Thursday or something like that. So you gotta like make sure you want it. It's all going in. So I I randomly go to Publix a lot. Like it shows up a lot in my transactions. <sighs> okay. So my next thing, my next thing, um, I actually, actually went shopping. Now this is the end of September. However, um, my, oh, I don't, I hate to, so my check is supposed to drop on October 1st, but I get like my bank account delivers it the day before. So technically I got it on the 30th and your girl was like, she hungry. And so then I was like, sis, what you gonna do? And I was like, I'm gonna eat. So that's what I did. I went to Aldi's and got me some food and I actually spent $30 even for the food. Now that same day I went and got my boo some stuff. So this is, um, the category is anniversary. Anniversary. I hope that's what that right. And then this is, a. Um, that's it gifts for my mans my mans or whatever so that ended up being $41.14 which when I do my cash stuffing or whatever this upcoming week you'll see um the new numbers because I will count for you guys so you'll see that reflected that I took that money out I okay and then um I'm thinking I'm thinking I also got some gay ass some gay ass Gay, gay, yes. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? They was, I don't know, where did I get that from? I'm pretty sure it came off of um TikTok. You know what? Let me let me stop. Okay, so October 4th, I got me some gas from Sam's Club. Um, because I drive across town just to get to Sam's Club to give me some gas because it is what we call affordable. Whereas like on this side of town, my gas gas over here is over three dollars. Over there, I think I spent like two fifty, two sixty. And I'm not even being I might be in a little bit dramatic, but like not too dramatic. Because twenty five dollars and seventy one cents to fill my tank is affordable. Because now if I do it on this side of town, my gas is just well into the thirties. So there's that. Um also let me go to October eighth. What did I do? I spent $4.45. This was on paper by Mo. Um, and I sent a planner to someone. So I'm going to say a gift. Boom. Okay. So you guys remember previously that I told y'all I am going to Miami to try to have a hot girl fall with my friends. And I want to do hood stuff with my friends. <laughs> so I bought my plane ticket. And, um, I took that money out of my vacation money, um, my envelope. So that's about dead. Okay. So I'm going to put vacation here and then I'm going to put October 6th and then vacation again. My handwriting is basura, but it's all good. Okay. So I want to make sure y'all can see what I'm putting. Okay. So vacation, vacation. Um, and this is for my flight, flight. Can y'all see the bumps on my hand? They're really not that bad, but that's why I didn't really want to record because it's really... And my hand doesn't hurt and doesn't swell, so that's the good news. Or this little one. Okay, so my plane ticket ended up being $183.61. Then I got plane ticket insurance because, I don't know, COVID and I was worried. I never buy plane ticket, like plane insurance or whatever it's called airfare insurance whatever but i was like i got to because i don't know so it was 26 dollars and 85 cents um and then going back off of that um two days before this is for this also came out of my vacation and this i'm just gonna say fun me and my friend we bought our tickets to go to an event so that cost me 21 dollars and 89 cents not Mad I that. Um also previously I told you guys coming out of my um what's that fund called? My giving fund. Um I went ahead and gave church last week ten dollars. So I had to take some money out so I could 
So it's crazy because you go to the bank, take the cash out, stuff the cash, then you use the cash, swipe a card, and then I take that cash, put it back in the bank. Anyways, <laughs> so that's what I gave to the church um, for that, for that, for that, for that, for that. Um, yeah. Also, I went to the um, chiropractor that was nine, eight, seven. That was the seventh. And I'm gonna say Cairo, and this came out of medical, and I spent thirty-five dollars. Boom. So this next expense, um, I actually went to Publix yesterday, I think. Anyways, and I spent a lot of money. So I spent thirty-eight dollars and fifty-eight cents. So if you're like, well, girl, why you spend so much? I mean, you've been going out this grocery shopping and all that, blah, blah, blah. Really remember when I told you guys that I had the bumps on my legs or whatever. So Benadryl, and I try not to go to Publix, but let me, I'll explain to you guys why I had to go. But before I get there, I had to get the Benadryl. What's that stuff called? Calamine, Calamine lotion. A um, couple other things like, you know, so the itch will be gone and just trying to do whatever I can, at least so my cankles can go down because that's not giving me hot girl fall. That's giving me old mo okay and old mo is a no now so yes so i went to publix even though i know the prices are ridiculous because now i'm having a car situation life be doing its thing so my neighbor came to me not too long ago last week and was like hey i just want you to know sweet old southern lady i just want you to know your car is leaking and i'm like i kind of saw it but i kind of thought that maybe it was because of the air conditioning you know the little water leaks and i back into my spot so i couldn't really see she's like i just want you to know because i know you back in to your spot and you probably can't see it and i'm like oh my gosh thank you so much god bless your heart immediately call the shop um i just need you know something's leaking i don't know just i'm gonna bring my car in so tomorrow monday i'm gonna take my car bring it in but i do some further inspection because i did own an older car previously in a past life and um, if you look at it, it's orange, it smells sweet, so immediately antifreeze. Open, pop the hood, and there's nothing. There's no coolant there at all. And I'm like, girl. So I actually had um, somebody actually look at it, like, you know, in the apartment complex or whatever. Somebody look at it, and they're like, yeah, you won't, like, don't drive this car, but my car's not overheating. <sighs> So I didn't want to drive too far. Publix was the closest thing. And I just in case my boot thing, my car, couldn't make it, I just wanted to be on the safe side. So I ended up spending more money to get what I needed from Publix instead of going to Walmart because I was way further out. Um, so yeah, that's my update. So anyways, so I'm going to say this one. Oh, so this actually was a couple things. I was sad. So I got me some ice cream that came out of food because emotions do cost you money. Um... I got some stuff from the house, so that was household. And then um, my, all of my medical stuff, I came, I took that money out of beauty. So those are the three things that came from that expense, expense, expense. So that's all I got for y'all. I know it's a lot. Um, hopefully I will go ahead and um, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday when I tell you how much I'm going to make from my next check that comes this following week, I'll tell you what happened with my car if... I had to go into my emergency fund, which I don't like calling it that, but if I had to go into that, which is why you save money, um, what I'm going to do, hopefully it's nothing major, but I'm really not that afraid just due to the fact that because I have money, thank God, right? Thank God for the budgeting community. Thank God for budgeting. I actually have money to go towards my car if something is wrong and I own that baby. So we're going to see what's going to happen. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure, make sure you guys go to my Etsy. Check out these brand new freaking stickers. They're beautiful or whatever. Support. Also, these budget planners are on sale currently. Um, what else? Make sure y'all go check out Prosperously Pink and her merch on Etsy. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, budgeties.